Okay, so it's four o'clock in the morning. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and record because I'm just sitting here, it's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's like, I gotta pass some time. And um, I did sleep, I was sleeping super good. Um, I was supposed to sleep in my bed. They were like, okay, we gotta do this wash and then you gotta go sleep in clean sheets and all this stuff. I know I'm not gonna get an infection though. Is, um, but I already did the wash and I, I cleaned this stuff up, but I still am making it up because I'm not gonna sit in my room all day. I'm still gonna sit out here and watch TV. I'll go in there and sleep because of the bed tilts up. Um, so I have to sleep sitting up for, I don't know, a couple weeks or something. I'll, I'll have the instructions tonight because um, there's things I have to do. I have to like monitor how much fluid and dump the little uh, drains and stuff. I kind of wish you would just be like, oh, I think we'll be okay without the drains. But I think it is um, partly because of how big the implants are, that there's going to be a lot of space that has to um, crunch down. <laughs> so it's kind of like that is kind of, I don't think it's like sucking it down, but as it collapses, it takes the, the fluid, it takes everything out of the way so that it can, um, you know, collapse and stuff. And then plus the crushing everything from out here and then not moving my arms. And man, I swear, I can't believe paying attention to little things you do. How, these muscles, the exact ones that are, um, are going to be uh, trying to heal. You use them all the time. Man, I feel like I look weird sometimes. Um, and I don't know if it's um, my eyes or the visual or in my head or what, but sometimes, like, sometimes I'm like, am I turning into demon face on there? Like, <laughs> can I just not see very well? Oh, yeah, and also what we're talking about, what I look like. Um, I had a video this morning. I knew I would be getting these. I already had said that I would be getting these. I talk so much more on here in depth about stuff. TikTok. Uh, oh, and after I said that last night about, um, why I think that they're going to be going down. What do you think I opened up to this morning? That, um, this video being shared, it was like shared and then shared and shared. So it's like this stitch with several people and um that it was if you want to go in and find what um most what is most searched on the platform so what's most searched what people are looking for the most and um all i saw in the top three because he pointed it out was um little ones you know people just going on there just little you know. and then i saw a uh not a content creator. I mean, it's a content creator, but they are marketing their creation, which is um, she makes some kind of keepsakes for uh, family keepsake things. And um, and they will not, uh, any any um, content creator, because so on TikTok, they have it set up. So you have the actual creator. This is why I've talked about like this system they cr that they've made. It's, it's not conducive to where we're going with energetically on this planet. That's the kind of stuff I can tell you. That's why I can see it's not going to work out. Just like TikTok, when this, the top search thing, what did I say yesterday? All these big platforms are involved in serious fucking crimes. These things are, and they've let, allowed it. They've got the fucking all day long to censor us if we talk about <clears throat> health, feeling good, you know, any of that stuff. Like, bug, they got all day long misinformation. But you're in there for uh, other things. Then, um, yeah, and you can report those accounts. And it's like, oh, well, uh, they just, it's, I don't know. It, it's like, uh, it's like, I would I would say it's like a, a kickback system. Like they get something for it. There's something that they get for doing it. So they're involved. Like there's people who are involved in a lot of this stuff. Man, there's gonna be like, there's just arrests in California, 23 arrests on a sting operation. A fireman captain from Sacramento. Told you it's gonna be regular people. A Sunday school teacher. 
a, um, a postman. Keep trying to tell people like this is gonna be like you, you, people all think like oh we're gonna just see the like how many politicians and Illuminati and stuff. I mean this had bad stuff going. It's like by there was people consuming all of this stuff, and that is what you're gonna be seeing. You're gonna be seeing neighbors, your cousin. I mean some people are gonna fucking have their husband carted out. <laughs> you think that fireman um, fireman's wife? He's an older one too. They said that. Their um, arrests are being like between 20 year olds and 70 year olds. There's gonna be people who are gonna have their own son. And it's gonna be a lot of humiliation because it's, you know, especially for how, what this tastes like in everybody's mouth right now. And, uh, you know, your neighbor's son starts getting carted out, you know, how you're gonna be looking at them. There's gonna be, I can see them. I can see the shame. Oh my God, it's intense. And then, oh, it's going to make me cry. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see that at all. Because it's intense. Because oh, everybody has pain. And it's not like there's a... Oh, fuck. It's not like there's a good guy and a bad guy. It's not like, oh, that's just a bad guy. He deserves it. No. It's like, it's so much deeper. So, fuck gonna be intense though it's gonna be really intense and it's just getting started man it's just getting started everybody's sitting there waiting on that list and ah, the week want to see these celebrities go down it's like <laughs> are you prepared to see your neighbors go down are you prepared to see your sunday school teacher go down prepared to see your preacher go down like, <laughs> like this is what this is what the ride is <laughs> so uh, yeah, and it's just getting started, dude. So, uh, this is like buckle up for the show to begin. And the sad thing is to me, like, I know what's coming. It, it, and it's just like, like that to see, it isn't like to see it. Cause you can see it, like you can see it playing out, but you, but it's the feeling, like you can feel it. Fuck. I'm telling you this energy that's going to be. When all this shit starts going down, it's going to fucking be intense on the planet. Like, everybody's all, like, now with the, oh, the shaman, and I'm just so this, and all this, and blah, 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 blah. It's like, fucking buckle up, because when the fucking energy goes, it, like, the energy is going to be so intense. Is, is That is what you've been doing your healing for, to ride these waves out, man. Because it's going to be fucking intense. And in Taiwan, they've got more earthquakes. I guess there was a big one. I, I think it was like a week or two ago. I think I just heard him say in the video. It was like a 7.2. It was like 17 people died. Weird number. And then um, 17 is so much in my life. It's so weird. 11, 11, 17, 11, 17. It's the strangest thing. 117, uh, the, that number pattern, a whole fucking day long. Um, but so the, um, let me think back where I, uh, the, oh yeah. Okay, so 17 was dead and then um, a thousand people were injured. And you gotta remember like all injury, like all those injuries and stuff that happen like when I got my brain injury and stuff that is supposed to happen. My life changed so much. These things, and it's like you're going, because I was going in the wrong direction, but it was like, I just kept going, you know? I kept thinking I was doing the right thing in the 3D world. You know, I'm getting, planning my retirement. I'm in a marriage. I have this great job, like I had, and it was just like, I wasn't happy. I was miserable. I was so fucking miserable. I was never had good boundaries. I didn't take care of myself properly. I was quick fix it, go to the medical, which was killing me. 
It was like everything was blowing up in my life to show me to go in a different direction. And that's what people got to realize. Like when you get into a position, like you go into the crisis, you've got to face the crisis. The crisis is coming. I would say as a spiritual perspective, you got to realize that the crisis is more. It has to do with other lives and this impacting what it is. It's trying to be brought out from something you've been hiding for a long time. But it, it is the universe is magical enough to be able to play out a pattern so you can bring that to the surface and release it. And so that is a part of what's happening when you go through your crisis it is and, and you got to be a lot more open to the information when it comes in because it can seem, you know, really strange, you know, like you could be laying in the hospital, you know, after a building fell on you and you keep having dreams of you falling off a stagecoach and getting hit by a horse, you know, and that is a part of, you know, what is the connection that holds the, the, this thing that you're working out. And it may not be anything about that at all. It can be something like it can be so many things like it's, it's so variable. Everybody is so unique in their storylines. That's why you have to always go inside of yourself to learn to trust yourself if you want to understand yourself. And there's your complexity. And so it's up to you to be able to fascinate yourself with the intrigue of understanding yourself. And so that is um, a part of what you can look at as you try and understand what is happening in your life. And then also when the accident occurs, it's so that you are having things taken away that aren't of value to you, that you are trying to hold up a structure that is taking too much of your energy and you are putting your energy distributed in the wrong direction because you're trying to hold something up that doesn't need to be held up and there's something that, that is there for you but you are trying to make something that you think is the right thing when there's already something there so the thing that you have created has to fall apart so that you can see what is in front of you and so that is a turning directions that is occurring in each person's life. And so that is a part of what you have um, going on as well. And so there is other factors that you can pay attention to as your occurrence is uh, redistributed, as it is uh, happening, as it is occurring, it is that is your time of uh, introspection and reflection is to sit and to go deeper into yourself so you can understand yourself and work through the things that you need to work through. And much of it is an acknowledgement. It isn't where you have to, uh, you know, do a lot of um, stuff. It, like some things are minimal healing and some things are bigger healing. And so not everything is going to be all consuming to your energy. A lot of things are just to continue to let go and to go forward towards what is like waiting for you. Like, cause the, what you created, like the persona, the life, the lifestyle was never in to alignment with your soul. So now it is this breaking free, breaking free from all of your pretend life to go into a life that is of design for you. It is, so it is like your life plan, your life flight plan. Like I had said, you know, when you're not listening to the radio controller and you're just on autopilot and you got everybody at the window looking out, you know, like there's so many different things, like how great you have it, but it can also be like, oh, look at me, poor me. Oh my God, my life sucks. I can't. Like everybody's got their own style, but it is, uh, it's a distraction and it is when you stop distracting, that's what you've got to heal. Why, what are you distracting yourself? Why are you, why are you so focused? Like I see so much of this on fucking TikTok, dude. So many people just focus, focus, focus on their illness. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? 
you got to focus on what you want, what's right. You got to go towards what's right, not just sit back in a cesspool of what's wrong. And so many people are in that pattern, see? These are big fucking patterns that you could, you, I could go in, I do it, I do it. It's fucking, I'm just like over it. And my thing just lost connection. <sighs> Restarted. Um, that it is um, the, these people who just focus on their sickness. And, and, and this is the toxic thing about it is it's attention seeking. It's all about me. It's a, like, look, everybody, I'm so sick. Everybody talk to me about my sickness and give me attention because you get all of these like, um, and it's just so artificial. Because, like, when you are in there puking at the toilet, where are all these people who are loving you online? They're not there, you know? It is, um, and there's people, you know, who need that. They need this energy from these other people. But see, that's energetic vampirism, is that they are sucking other people's energy out in order to make themselves feel better. And it's, it's another aspect of why it's sad is because how many of the people don't realize it's a change of focus and it's a change in direction and it's a lifestyle change towards your better health. And this is a comment that I had gotten this morning, which I said, I knew I was gonna get a lot of these because people just don't understand. They don't understand what, I mean, this is a learning, this is an unfolding. And so, you know, I'm not saying, you know, the dumb asses, they should know that by now. No, but you know, I mean, it's still challenging for, it's like, we're all in different areas of things and we still have to have compassion for whatever area that somebody's in, not thinking, oh, we're all supposed to be right here. No, <clears throat> how are we all supposed to be in the same place? You know, what, part of our learning is to learn how to accept everybody for the place they're at. So, and it is challenging. I mean, it is hard. It's frustrating. I mean, we, you know, and, um, but, you know, there is people out there who vibe with you. You can talk to them. It's effortless. You know, they get it. You get it. You know, things are seen the same. And uh, that is, um, you know, that's, that's cool. And see, and that's also the more we expose ourselves and speak our truth, the more that we can find people who are in our truth. You know, you can't find it if you keep masking and hiding from your truth. You have to speak your truth in order to find the people at your same vibration. Like I find people all day long on here. People always um, vibing with me and even having uh, parallel experiences and stuff. You know, and being able to notice that and patterns and stuff because that's what it all is about is um you know was like we are a pattern and uh and but you can notice your pattern like the, man there's so much to this whole thing because it's this conscious awareness it's like the more you become conscious of the more that you have awareness the more that you can interact with yourself or control yourself or dismantle yourself whatever it is like you it's you like you can do so much more, but you have to learn how to get there. And so anyways, let me see. Okay. So on the, um, thing, cause I had, um, I don't even know if I finished saying what I was saying earlier, but on the gray, cause, um, sometimes I'll be like, man, is it, uh, is it getting more gray? Like I'll watch it. Like it's like in this color, like, Ooh, or something. And I don't, I don't know. And, uh, but I keep trying to, uh, look at it and see, is it getting more white or less white? And, um, see, I keep feeling like, and it's like, I don't know. It's like in a really in between stage. Cause I, sometimes I feel like it's more, but then it's like, I think that's why a good thing is, is the having the, um, the documenting it. Um, because I, I could pull out still shots, you know, and do comparison. But when I'm looking at it, I'm trying to figure out like my formula. Like I'm trying to figure out like, okay, so, and cause I'll be paying attention. Okay. So I stopped play, taking that zinc and because I had heard zinc can interfere with copper. And then I also have the thing where sometimes I feel like my pee smells like minerals 
where you think, okay, so I've got, I'm dumping minerals. I've got plenty of whatever it is I'm dumping. And another video, I think I already said about this one, but there's more of these videos coming out about minerals and how they work together and the importance of iron and copper inside of our um, system. And, um, and how, and magnesium and how all these different ones work together. Like, and you got to keep thinking that you are your own unique formula. And this is the thing that, um, so this morning I got a message and somebody was like, well, it's been three weeks and I've been drinking out of the copper cup and my hair hasn't changed at all. Like, uh, like you said or something, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I, I've done so many of these videos, but I was just, so I did another one, a really long one to this person, but to try and get people to understand, I can't tell somebody what is gonna work for them. What works for one person is not gonna exactly work for another person. We're all unique. We all have our own formula. We all are very, you know, two parts this, one part this, three parts this, four parts this, five part. You have a unique formula that makes you up in your diagram, your DNA, your imprint, your, you know, whatever this density requires in order to be of, uh, in this, it's like a lower frequency. It's like a density, but it's, it's, it's like you have to have a, like a spacesuit or something. That's why all these other beings, they don't just come down here all willy nilly, like, you know, like, oh, this is so fun. Um, and I, I feel like it is a part of the interaction and stuff is because of the consciousness on the planet, because they're all in soul form and we are in this other form. So it's an expansion in the universe of, uh, and it's really cool. I don't know if I can explain it right, but it's like a, a total expansion that is totally what is going on is fucking conscious expansion in this realm and and it's elevating us you know it's a connection to our soul through the suit or something so anyways it's really cool whatever it's it's really fascinating but um but so anyways the, the um but you have like a a, a DNA and, and like I've said before, it's like, that's why you gotta, you don't just go and be vegan because somebody told you to be vegan, to be a good person. You gotta listen to your body because your body, your DNA has requirements. And it seems to me that some of the requirements has to do with other lives and different things that you needed in those lives and stuff. And so it's like a weaning yourself down. And if you lived another life and all you guys had was meat to eat, you're gonna have a really hard time stopping eating meat now. It's like, a, you know, and it would take a lot of your consciousness to focus, to wean yourself off and to realize like, I don't need this anymore. But it's your awareness on yourself expressing to yourself is how you like rid yourself of it. Not just because someone told you you're skipping all the parts then because there's was parts, there's lessons in there of learning that what you need to survive and what, you know, you're taking the energy of something else. And there's just lessons. Each person has their own lessons, just like each person has their own unique experiences due to different time periods the, like even if you were, you know, you and your cousin, you both had a past life and you were both in World War II, but you know, you were a captain and they were a secretary, like a very different experiences, even if you were from the same period of time. And so, you know, you, you, you're just, you're very unique. I can't stress it enough. Everybody's very unique. And that is why you have to go in for your answers because your answer is inside of you. It's like in your imprint. But you have to go in and stop going out. Going out feeds the ego because you're trying to please others. And, 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 and it's toxic, just like what I was saying. Like even if you're trying to show everybody, look how great I am, look how great I am. Or look how sad I am, look how sad I am. I'm, oh, everybody's out to get, you know, whatever way. It isn't of balance 
those are the two sides of you that you need to bring together to find yourself that you don't need to lean way into other people's energy either way it, you can find your own balance and find your own um your own resonance your own place to find peace and so <laughs> that is um that is a part of the awakening part of uh, coming to a sense of self um oh yeah okay so the um so anyways in the you know the question where the guy was like you know i've been doing this a couple weeks and not seeing any results like like i'm selling something this is why i don't want uh, this is why i would not push products and stuff and why it irritated me when people would ask me what product and then they would go do it like i i i i, I mean our society is just whacked out just like that one woman who i was saying that did the keepsake shop thing and she um sh they will not work with anybody who promotes their kids online they won't if you as a creator want to promote their product because you want their product cheaper then they will not allow that if you have any videos up of your kids and, and she goes through the whole thing explaining and it's because it's all this exploitation. And this is what's going on in these platforms. And it goes on with people. Uh, she even shows an example of a video. And I don't even know what the hell's going on. But the kid's crying. And the parents just got to make sure and get it all. But the woman said how many times it was saved. How many times it was shared. Like all of this stuff. Like this is going around. Thousands and thousands of, of some millions on these kids and these kids have no their kids you know you know it's up to parents to protect them it's up to parents to have awareness but the parents are so busy trying to get that little like uh, charge of a like or a view or whatever that they will do anything i i mean i'm I, some of these women now too it's like oh my god what in the hell where is your self-respect dude it's not cute to just be trying to, you know, be red light district on a fucking platform, trying to just get attention. It's like, oh my God, it's embarrassing. So, and I don't know why I feel embarrassed for it. Every time I see these people doing it, it's like so cringy and embarrassing. It's like, oh God, I feel so embarrassed for you. Oh, I can't stand it. I can't stand to see it. It's like, I really think they're going to feel a sense of humiliation when they see how low that they were willing to go for, you know, in search of a man and stuff. And some people are like anti-man. They're just in search of just, it's it, like everybody is just all over the place. And it is why, you know, we're in the midst of this tornado. Oh yeah. And in Taiwan, it, that big, um, earthquake well today i guess they've had two more in the sixes there's no tsunami warning it could have been yesterday but anyways that was a video it looked like it was new but some of these are fake too and this whole thing in dubai dubai it just keeps getting worse but they are making a big thing about what's going on <clears throat> artificially in the skies and so that is um you know, it's all part of disclosure and look at this, what they're doing to this one place. But that one place is really going through it, supposedly. I mean, there's a lot of footage of it. Um, they're really going through it. But there is energy that is leaving the planet, like, especially like over there. Fucking, uh, it could be things that have been going on for a long, 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 long time. <clears throat> so there's a lot of energy that is... Um, you know, it's like, you got to think that this is micro macro. This is a whole planet realigning. And I just saw a video. I'll share it if I can find it again. As um, they were even showing like the Dubai thing. And then they were putting the doomsday map. And um, these places are changing into like what the map shows. So I think, you know, I keep taking this map serious. And um, oh, especially if you're in the area like me where there is um you know it's not gonna be there and knowing what is going to happen that's going to take out places like this the water rising in the earth um the earth plane the earth um plates 
<clears throat> shifting and um uh you know changing changing directions <clears throat> is going to change the the landscape on the planet and so that is and that's a part of the shift that's a part of what's going on but that isn't all the things that the because they're also creating these storms and this artificial stuff and it, when it all works out together it could be that you know it was man did this a lot of this to itself you know that we have to see how it plays out we have to see when we get to this other part we can look back and we get to see more of the story and understand but right now we're players in the story we're in the story as it plays out we are the experiencers you know where the senses where the nerves it's kind of like a giant body that has a, a, a nerve stimulation that's what we all are we are the experience and the the play out of the storyline that has a great significance and an impact in the galactic storyline which is a more expansive um place for the um the souls like it's like this it's, it's like this bridging it is like this bridging into from uh from a density into a, a dis, other density it, but it is all of how we expand how we connect to ourselves because we connect to ourselves in a higher density which pulls that information into this one which elevates this one you see how it works and so that is how it is um but we are the the this the nerve endings like we are all the sensors in the reality that is connecting like we are the kind of like of your higher self threw out a line and hooked in we are the hook that hooked in to the density and then the line is to send this higher message higher uh thought patterns the thought patterns that give more clarity instead because when you realize how significant it really is how the people live in the 3d with this looking outside of them all the time and so the and disconnected from themselves but that interference like i said there's an interference but the interference is going to go away it is um and it could be why when the power goes out or something that you know that moment of silence is when all of a sudden everybody all of a sudden hears their soul and it just like what i'm doing the wrong thing what and that clicks you know when all the souls are like boo that is going to be intense um when this when people when the lights come on and i don't know what it as i i still um I don't see it as like the big solar flash because or the harvest or whatever because like I said there has to be the part where the people awaken to decide like right now they're all in the dark and um but I know everything is by intention and like we are seeing people's souls so but there still is this part of um I don't know. This could totally be. I don't. I don't know. I just know that there is this um, this big shift. This big shift coming. I thought it was going to come in another part that would be where all these people were taken off planet and stuff. But fuck, there's so many people going, and this is going so like slow, and and then plus how it's getting close to this lights coming on and then i don't know it is like that this it is like that they are trying to lessen the blow or something like acting out all these crazy plays to get people's attention to get them to notice stuff so they 
begin to awaken up and question things. Like it really is a benefit, like when you're losing your jobs and stuff like that. People don't see it that way, but it's waking them up. And then they're gonna be so grateful, even though it's so hard to wake up. But once they get to that point and being able to understand of what it is that's happening here, they're gonna be grateful. But it, it, there's just a, the, the thing that gets me is when this occurs, this light's coming on, it's going to be like everybody going into the dark night. It's going to be like this mass dark night of the soul. This mass healing that has to happen. And then is that healing. And see, that is like a breath to me. Like the earth taking this breath. And um, it's like a breath in. And then there's going to be this giant expansion. And it's because of the people healing. But maybe that is the part, maybe this is the dramatic part, is the part where it goes into the dark night and then it goes through these stages of healing, which anger, don't forget, anger is a big one, is um, these stages of healing is, um, that is when we get to uh, the peace on earth and stuff, is we got to go through this part. And then it gets to peace on earth because everybody has gone through their healing. They, it's, it's going to change everything. And then everything is going to be, you know, a lot, a lot better experience, a lot more connection, you know, because everybody is so, um, it's just like this fake, distracted, unhappy world. So it's going to make changes that are going to be good, but it's like forcing, forcing them because the people, I think, you know, the, the souls would have figured it out, but there was so much interference and so it's uh, the interference has to go. And I don't know if, yeah, if they've been slowly trying to wake people up because once this, the power goes out or whatever it is, and all of a sudden everybody connects. Like, I don't know what the event is. I always see it as just, there's gonna be this abrupt change. And it's like the lights coming on. It's like everybody's in the dark and all of a sudden the lights come on. And, um, and there's all these people who've been resistant you know, to this whole scenario playing out. And so those people are going to feel really stupid. There's people who are not going to see it coming at all. Like there's going to be all different levels, but it's going to be very emotional and very intense. And it's a lot of really deep wounds that people have had for eons are going to be coming up and they're going to be playing out in the 3D in the storyline that they're present in, but it's deeper than that. So keep that in mind when you see people, especially when you're thinking like, geez, dude, it's not that bad. And they're losing their fucking minds. It is like, cause they're dealing with really deep stuff and they may not even know how to talk about it. It's like trying to talk about what something tastes like or what something feels like on the inside. <clears throat> it's very hard to try and express that. And so it is, um, everybody's going to have their own stuff to go through, but that is a part of as you awaken and stuff is the, the challenges of just, you know, allowing everyone to go through their stuff, just being like, you know, it's their stuff. You can't change it. You can't help them. You can't fix it. It's everybody's on their own. And this is like what I was trying to express too, to this person this morning on their thing. It's like, I can't give you your answers. And what works for one person is not gonna exactly work for the other. And the main thing is you gotta keep in mind, we're minerals and water. So the water we put into us, that's why our water is so fucking messed with, is um, important. And that is a challenge all on its own. Each of us have our own challenge on that form. <clears throat> there's nothing that I can say, you know, oh, well, go here and do that. And no, and we've all got to figure it out and figure out how to get some that is best. Some of it, you know, could be through filtering systems. It can be through like maybe collecting your own and then filtering it. Like, I mean, I'm naked and afraid. Some of them, they just dig holes down and find a well water thing and filter that. Like, uh, naked and afraid, I swear, shows a lot of good stuff if you, about survival. Um, I think it is really good. And then I like how they have the people just like, you don't have clothes, you don't have anything. Like, you know, what we try and think of is like, we have all these comforts. Well, what if you don't have them? Which, you know, well, what, what can you do? And that's kind of like the same concept in life, <clears throat> especially in a spiritual 
you know, well, if you don't have that, are you still happy? Can you still find happiness? Can you still find peace? It's all about this finding peace, finding um, a connection, not just going through life being mad at God. God damn God, he did it again. Fuck that God, God you know, like so many people live like that. <clears throat> and so it's, a, you know, a part of being able to be peaceful in connection with yourself, not damning yourself every fucking five minutes and to be able to see as another thing too, is if you're damning, you know, yourself every five minutes, then you aren't getting the actual benefits from your experience as your experience is laid out for you. So anyways, I'll use each person to figure this stuff out, but the, um, but on the other thing is, we're, you know, we're made up of minerals. Like now, that is crystal clear. There's all these di different doctors saying, like, we are made of minerals, and if, and everything in our environment is meant to suck them out and to affect our system, so it doesn't have good absorption. <clears throat> because then that makes you sick. And as long as you aren't connected to yourself and you get sick, you rely on them. And then they give you their miracle, which makes you sicker. And then they tell you, oh, well, you're aging. And so then you just go along with their program. This is a, wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Matter of fact, that, 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 and that, that, that. What have they said that makes sense? So it's time to start thinking for yourself. And so there is not one person who can say, okay, well, you need two magnesiums, three zincs, one vitamin D, two vitamin K. And, and then plus I hear people say like, oh, don't take vitamin K. And then some people say, oh, you got to take vitamin K. Some people say don't take zinc. And some people say, oh, you got to take zinc. Each person has to figure out their own thing. And it's not automatic. Like all I did was have, I was doing those few things together and my hair started turning, which all of a sudden I just, it was like light bulb <clears throat> and I saw through it all. I saw through the aging. I thought I saw, you know, so much came clear. And so then, um, and then my algorithm picked up too, because now I could understand the information that they were showing me. And so I would get more and more of that information that it expands my understanding. And so the, um, what we are all very unique in our formula and we have to figure out our own formula. And then the, but there is important parts that go to the factors of the iron, magnesium and copper and the benefits because it has to do with, um, in the video I just was talking about, I think yesterday, was he was talking about arterial sclerosis. And um, he was talking about a doctor. He, this guy's video, he was saying, why do people go and listen to doctors? Like, the view, he, his hobby that he had created when he was a kid was to look for doctors and lawyers' obituaries. So he started tracking this information back when he was younger about the age of doctors and when they pass over. And he said that they're mostly under 58 years old. They're all young and they're all dying all the time. And um, he said, so why in the world would you listen to people who don't have a long lifespan over how to have a long, how to, how to have a long lifespan? They can't figure it out and they're telling us what to do. And um, so he was talking about the... Um, this one who had died from an aneur uh, aortic aneurysm, and he was talking about what the deficiency of iron and copper does to your vessels. And like what I had said when I was on all those meds, my veins, like I, that's one thing that came back is I had these giant ass like rope veins. And then when I was getting sicker, my veins were going and going and they were like little lines. I was like, what in the hell? And this happens to so many older people. Being somebody who had to draw their blood and put in IVs and shit, like it is very common. And so, and then they mark it, you know, oh, well that's part of aging and stuff. Well, no, it's part of mineral deficiency. And so, yeah, it affects your vessels. And so, um, and your skin, your absorption. And what have I said about like uh, where your nutrients are absorbed? Well, it's why everybody's gut is under attack is because that is where you absorb your nutrition. So that's why they put a whole bunch of parasites in there so that you, and they can be microscopic. They don't all have to be, you know, earthworm size or something. And they, but they're in there. Um, 
you know, causing a challenge inside your system. So you're not absorbing. They are eating everything up. And, and then also when they sell people on supplements, the supplement, the, what does it have to absorb to? It doesn't just go in. Nothing absorbs in your stomach. Acid eats it up. Then whatever it can get onto to go further through the system. So it needs a carrier. So it has to go through your system and get into, you know, jump on something else. Well, you're not getting very much of that absorption. Think about how many sperm get through. So, you know, that's about how much you're getting through on your supplement. If you take them with food, you may have better results, but it also, there's more to how it is broken down. It's way better to just get it in your foods. Like, you know, like cooking on a cast iron. When you're cooking on it, it's putting it in and drinking water out of the copper because it's putting in the mineral right into something that you're taking in that it's going into absorb into your system. The water is going to absorb into other parts of your system. And then uh, the food, when it's into the food, then the food gets broken down. Then this acid in your stomach tries to dissolve it some so it can get more manageable to get into your intestine. Through your small intestine into your large intestine is where you have all of this absorption. So that is where it's taking the nutrition out of your food. So that is why it's better to cook and stuff like that. But that's why they try to get us off of these old ways and get us into Teflon and stuff where you're getting no nutrition, drink out of plastic, which, you know, I know plastic has a benefit because like this thing, I was thinking like, fuck, if that was glass, because I've got a bunch, I've got some glass and plastic back here of all these different water bottles and, you know, plastic is leaching and stuff too. But then I was like, dang, if that big thing was glass, that would be so heavy. So there is some benefits to plastic, but they're, they're toxic and they're chemicals to our system. And so that is another thing. If you're always drinking out of plastic, if you're always cooking off Teflon, you know, you are making yourself sicker. This is the thing too. And I've tried to say this, and I know you guys hear me say it all the time. And I don't know, on TikTok, they just don't, doesn't, people don't get it or something. They don't listen for a whole long thing or something. But you have, um, it all goes together. Like you have to figure out your own lifestyle. You have to get all the chemicals out of you because that is going to deplete your system. That is going to make your system work overdrive because especially right now, they are putting so many, so many in the sky, so many in the water coming out. There's just so many. And so even if you are trying to get them out of your house, you still have a lot in your, that your body is fighting against. So, you know, you got allergies or whatever. This is like all different attacks. And so that is, um, so your body is trying to work overtime, trying to take care of itself. So that is going to deplete it. And they do all this stuff to get all of your, your um, metabolic system out of whack, all your hormones out of whack. And so then, you know, you feel anxious, you're going to feel tired, you're going to feel weak, you're going to feel like all these different things. Then get people to not speak their truth and stuff. So then they start having areas, like a lot of people have heart problems. And it probably is uh, has a lot to do with, you know, they got hurt in their life and they're so scared of somebody hurting them again. So they have heart problems. Uh, the people all up with the thyroid problems and not speaking their truth, not standing up for themselves, not being real, trying to please others. Like all these things are the things that people need to work on to heal so that they can heal these things. And so that is why it's um, harder to wake up. And then plus how many people like with their heart issues, are they even thinking about for one thing natural, like all the dandelions are popping up and I'm like noticing like whose yard has got the most. And I'm like, dang, I wonder if they've got heart issues. <laughs> so this has been on my mind. But it is, um, so, uh, but the heart is, you know, speaking to you. And so you got to listen to what it's saying and you got to learn to trust and stuff. You can't close your heart off because you got hurt one time. Like, you know, I mean, you got to open your heart in order to learn and expand. So it's a part of, you know, the whole system, but you have to go through the work to get to each point. And so that, um, 
man, I'm all over the place. Fuck. I was like, when I started, I was like, what am I going to talk about? I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. And now I don't even feel like I've talked all this stuff because I, um, what was it? It was, it was, it was, it seems like there was something else I had seen, but I probably on this one, I'm going to put a bunch of, uh, TikToks in the comments again, is there was some that I wanted to share. So, and I shared one when I just saw the one this morning of the guy, um, saying like the most searched thing, biggest search thing on the social media, on this platform. And, um, so I put that on that video yesterday because I've just been talking about that. That is always what happens. Like I get shown things and I see things, but then they'll bring me some kind of confirmation always. It always goes that way. I'm telling you, it's like a, just start noticing how your, like yours may work different than mine. You got to figure out like your own working system. And, um, and it has to do with like, taking fully care of yourself and this is the thing is about it being a lifestyle and i knew there was going to be people who were going to be well it's not working for me okay well this is a, a definite formula you're made of mineral and water and so you start focusing on that and yeah you're going to start having changes in your health you're going to notice that aging isn't real and, um, and you know, but this is going slower now, you know, and I keep trying to figure out like, okay, is this like going, still it's going at a pace or do I need to change something up? Do I need to do this? So I'm always thinking that way. And, uh, you know, do I need to redistribute my formula? Do I need to try this? Maybe I need to try that. And right now I have a big thing happening today that I'm going to see a lot of things like I want to see for one thing I want to see if it makes a difference over the puffiness around my eyes and if it does make my eyes start being able to heal more getting this plastic out because like is my body just constantly trying to protect itself from this enemy inside of it you know I mean there's a lot of things like, like my fingers and stuff and the aching so anyways I'm excited about seeing those changes in um what happens like right now I have a headache even like ugh. but I'm so excited I still feel rested I you know I slept I, I think we went to bed like at seven o'clock I think I went to sleep and then I think she woke me up like two times I just got up gave her some medicine and then at three is when she was like no she wanted to get up eat go outside do this do all this whole fucking thing <clears throat> So, um, I'm going to take her for a couple walks this morning because now they moved my surgery to later. So I'm not going to be leaving until a little bit later. So I'm going to go out and walk her and stuff. And then, um, and then I'm just hoping I don't get stuck in any kind of traffic. I just got to, whatever happens is supposed to be the way it happens. I just got to trust and just keep seeing them. Like they're going to just fly me in on a magic carpet and fly me out. So we'll see how it goes. And, um, uh, but you know, send me uh, like positive vibes all day. But, like every time you think of me, think, oh, I bet things are going so great. <laughs> like, um, so um, let me think. <sighs> what was that? Oh yeah. So on the lifestyle thing, because it is very uh, distinct to me. Like like I have keep saying like the cooking and how you eat and what you eat. Like and and then I don't. Um, I don't eat raw. Like I cook things. So I cook things and then I eat things like I eat butter. Uh, um, what was another thing? There was another thing that they tell people, Oh, you, Oh honey. Like I go through so much freaking honey. And, um, back when I was younger, I was like, Oh, I've got, that has to be too fattening. And then, you know, I, I was sweet and low at it. Um, that took, you know, forever to get off of. And I'm still probably detoxing that shit. If you even can. Some of the stuff they sit there and say, oh, it's forever chemicals. <laughs> That's forever. You can't get rid of that. It's like, oh my God, I'm carrying a lot of forever chemicals. So um, that is another thing. We all have different things we've taken in and different things that we have to get out of us. And it is so important on your, your time of like meditation, which to me is just time to yourself, time in introspection, reflection, time where you are quiet, nobody's interfering, or you get it, just go back over, like think about things and how do you feel and how are you looking at it? You know, that is how you can use the benefit of your experience. So you've got to have this period of time of thinking of, of, 
you know, a reflection, introspection. I don't know what else to call it. And then, um, and then your energy, like <clears throat> your energy. And you know, I am, I am very for sure on this whole orgasm thing. It does not leave. I don't know where these people are. I mean, I can see where a man, like I can see where they say, well, you shouldn't, you know, uh, get rid of your manly fluid all the time or something. Uh, but for a woman, it's like, what are you talking about? Like the energy just, it's like this energy pops off in your whole body. It gives you this whole like, oh, and then it was like, I, I, I don't know. I don't understand people. I don't under, and it's like, isn't it there for a reason? Aren't we here to experience things for a reason? Like, I, I mean, is your whole thing to block out the experience to go, you know, it's like, I don't understand. And my bones are crackling. See, let's see how my bones crackle. My bones crackle after I get this plastic out of me. Things like that is what I'm going to be paying attention to. And because uh, I know there's going to be health benefits. I just know it. I just feel it. I feel it coming. I'm so excited. But, um, you know, with your energy and stuff, and, and like, I have a lot of energy. I don't stop moving hardly. And uh, so, you know, but you, you've got to, uh, you know, there's... There's like energy things and movement and stuff. Like you've got to do movement and get your body like stretching and releasing and stuff. Like you got to do that. And that is going to make you more sound. It's going to make you more in balance. Like you can't take something that's all wobbly and balance it. So you have to mind yourself, mind your manner. And then um, and what you consume and we're in a state of confusion on consumption because people over consume way beyond what they need in all aspects of life. In the micro macro, they've got storage buildings full of stuff that they need and they've got all extra weight on them that they need and instead of and where people think if somebody is not eating to be overweight, then they are toxic and anorexic. It's like, what has happened in our society? Like, so that is the shift that is like where everybody's got, they went so far, click, 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 click this other direction that this doesn't make sense to them anymore. It's like this whoop, whooping around, this whoop around to be like, oh shit. Ah, man, I, how did I get way over here? That's the, that's the confusion is, but, but you, but people's minds were taken over there. They were clear. Click, 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 click over programming, indoctrination, and their ability to use people to direct other people, a herd mentality. So they have created this, you know, why you're looking way over here, but it's going to be very confusing when people realize like, fuck, why am I looking way over here? And so anyways, that is a part of this whole uh, awakening thing, the whole, you know, of like, whoa. So that is, um, <clears throat> that's what we're going through right now. That is the experience. And everybody is, you know, waking up to different things at different times. And there's a lot of different things that everybody has looked over here. And then they had the, the, the uh, extra of getting different groups to look in different ways by playing on different aspects of them and getting them to focus in a in a way that was divided from one another when they really are looking at the same thing but they're getting them to see it in these different ways but when the people come together then that insight of that will be um see these these wonderful great insights that are going to happen as people make these realizations that is all the changes see how would you get these changes to occur without this huge drama that we have going on because it's so huge of how it's going to play out like we're we're just in the hard part but how it's all going to play out is going to be fucking really really good really good for humanity and and plus it's going to be really good for the people when they realize like everything they're letting go of is stuff that was dragging them down like, there's such a better world, such a better life waiting for each person. But it is an important part is for you to develop you in, in your lifestyle and how you take care of yourself. And it will show. 
It's going to show. You'll see. You'll see people are going to start becoming super, super old. And, you know, and there's going to be a lot of sudden death. There's already started with, you know, and a really horrible, more horrible tragedies. A whole fucking family. Like where you're even like this one in, um, I don't know if it was Kansas, Oklahoma or something. And a, a husband, wife and four boys. It's like, how, who gets in there? Like, uh, you would think there would be some fighting. I, I don't know. Like, there's just a lot of bad stuff. But the bad stuff that's happening, that is a part of their life pattern. It isn't like, you know, we all have to sit back and go, okay, well, it's going to happen to us too. It only can happen to you if it's meant to happen to you. It can't happen to you just because it's happening. It happens to you because it's meant to happen to you. Whatever happens to you is for you to learn from. So there's a lot, but there's a lot of really horrible things happening too, because it is, you know, it's awakening people. It's getting people to see. And, you know, I mean, it really is like nice when a whole family goes together. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of big groups that are going to go together. And, um, you know, it is nice. They're all going together, you know, even though it's in the storyline, it's super fucking sad, but, um, but anyways, um, but the, each person has to develop their lifestyle and it has to do with, um, all your practices, you know, of keeping yourself healthy and it has so much to do. People just don't get how important mental and emotional health is to your physical. You have to face the things you have to you know, understand yourself and find balance in yourself. Like even people who, like I used to have horrible insomnia. I could not sleep. And then, um, and it, you know, it was because I was keeping myself up at night. Like think about it. You're keeping yourself up at night, going over and over the things that you don't like, the things that you want to change. And then you're in denial of them. And then you, you know, just keep on thinking, well, well, you have to do what you have to do. And you can't really make changes. You can't do that because it just doesn't seem possible. It seems too crazy sometimes to be able to think. So that's why the universe, you know, was like, well, if you can't do it for yourself, we'll do it for you. <laughs> we'll just stay taking shit from you. <laughs> no problem. So um, they, you know, will come in and insist. But then you have to learn how to just keep letting go and trusting. Like, okay, there's a reason why this is happening. And it's going to be for my benefit. But, um, uh, you know, not having healthy emotions and uh, hormones and stuff is making people have, like, cancers and all sorts of issues. And then they're getting so many people just stuck on all these different meds and all these different procedures and all these things are worse for them. But all these people have to wake up to that part. So any of the things <clears> that <throat> you do, it, to me, it's just, it's all about this lifestyle. It's about focusing on you and what's good for you, how to take care of you, what, and having awareness, you know, like, of the things that are hormone blockers, of forever chemicals, of all these different things that are in your life already that you need to detoxify out of because they are causing these blockages. And I don't have any problem falling asleep now. I just fucking, I, I just roll over and I'm out like in two seconds, <clears throat> which I was always envious of people who could do that. And it's just all from healing. It's all just from, you know, healing and taking care of myself. And, um, and then also back in the day too, when I was a nurse in my sleep where I was like, well, I'm up all night anyways, I might as well go to work and make money. And, um, but then you have to sleep in the day. Then I was on all these sleeping meds, which all those things whack you out. Like, man, uh, I just... There was years, years where I, I feel like I just abused myself because I wasn't taking time to myself. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't going deeper. It's just like, it's like you're just running, trying to keep up and, um, <clears throat> and the world just keeps going and, you know, I don't know, but then all of a sudden you start healing and stuff and everything slows down. It's like, fuck, man. I was really running a lot. Oh, fuck, I was exhausted. 
And uh, then you start seeing, like, what was I chasing? Where was I going? What was I trying to accomplish? And then you got to face it, you know, like, well, you know, I did want to have early retirement. It makes sense. But, you know, I mean, you're giving up so much for something. It's like we, we, we got to find a lot more balance of living in the here and now and enjoying our life. And that's where we're headed. You know, all the people coming into these realizations is why it is going to end up heading in that direction where it is going to be. Our focus will be living our lives. It's not going to be going to work, even if, you know, well, I know everybody's going to have everything they need. But it's going to be this part of being like, well, I don't really need all that stuff. That um, Because they have us convinced, you know, you need more money, more money. And they even are like, you know, at this point, they're saying, oh, you need like 140000 a year. It used to be like, I think my parents made like 12000 a year or something. Like, and a house was like... Uh, a year's wages or something like houses were so much cheaper cars everything was so much cheaper and then they just kept inflating 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 now they're telling people you know well you got to make 140,000 they're telling us that a house that you know is, should be six thousand dollars is five hundred thousand dollars it's a, it's just so much absurdity but we keep allowing it but that's why it all has to fall apart so we can get back to living in basics like where we don't need all this bullshit that they have um you know because it does just keep you running and running and running and it's exhausting and so you know it's time for it all to fall apart and to see like what are you what are you chasing where are you trying to get to is that really what you want to do with your time is that what life is all about is you know it, life seems to have a a value it seems to have a you know set time <laughs> we could chase you know something or we could you know learn to live it and experience it and i don't know but that is you know it's all about the shifting and i keep seeing it, it's like a shifting more into this islander mentality you know of just like going with the flow and just living your life and and even when uh, this was funny because this woman, she has her own business. And so she has small hours. I think it's like 10 to 5. And somebody came in bitching at her. They, they, she didn't stay open longer. Which I'm sure, you know, that dr drives the people who have to work all day. Because then they're frustrated because they can't get anywhere. And they've got to get to these places and get stuff. And so then they have frustration and they take it out on people. But, you know, he was giving her the what's for over her short hours. And she's like, but think about, like, if you're somebody who owns your own business, like, you only would be, a, like, a short amount of time. You'd just be like, yeah, we're going to be open at this time. That's what I was saying. Even if there ends up being, like, restaurants, which I'm sure there's still going to be some restaurants and stuff. Because, you know, people enjoy that. Is um, It will be a lot more, um, like, smaller menus. Not this, like, you know, we got to please the masses or something. It'll be smaller kind of things and um, smaller hours and stuff. A lot more of like where people were having to give too much. So it's going to be a lot more like, oh, well, we can do this and enjoy it and have fun and meet people. You know, our, you know, our little restaurant fills up at lunchtime. We have all these people here like turn it into a party every lunchtime. And then you're done working for the day. And then plus uh, having all this stuff come out about the corporations right now about the food safety and how disgusting and dirty all these places are full of rats and bugs and hearts and uh, it's just disgusting. And, you know, we go out and think this food tastes good because they put a bunch of crap in it. So um, anyways, but we're shifting out of that. So it would be shifting into places where you go where people have integrity. They're really cooking for you. That it's real. Like it will be a, a different kind of thing. Everything is going to be leaving from this, you know, artificial with so much stuff done in the dark to everything being in the light and being real. And so these are going to be really good shifts, but each person has to make these shifts just like it's going to be regular people. You're going to be seen getting arrested and stuff. Like, we are 
the shift. We are how we got where we were, and we are the shift to get where we're going. So it's it's all about us. I mean, it's you know, and there's a lot of work to still go through. There's still a lot of growing to go, and there still is this you know abrupt moment in time when everybody shifts perspective. So the pole shift, you know, and it's it's got to be getting closer and closer. Like there's so much going on, really, uh, with how people are seeing things and everything. It just seems like it's speeding up and building and building and building and building. And there is, um, you know, there's more things that are just going to keep happening. But anyways, uh, that's my rant for today. So, <laughs> and I'll be leaving in, you know, a few hours and stuff. And so, I don't know, probably, well, we'll see. I mean, I could come home and just be all jacked up and amped up and I've got to talk about it. So, I'm not going to say either or. I don't know what's going to happen later. I may see you later. I may not see you later. I may see you tomorrow. I could see you again in the middle of the night. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. But remember to love yourself. Love everyone and have a loving day and I'll talk to you later.